Hey everyone, and thanks for logging on to WXYZ.com. I'm 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor, and we have an opportunity here to pick up a lot of rainfall that can lead to some flooding concerns, and some of us could actually be dealing with a more of a wintry weather setup here that could lead to some ice. So let's jump right into it. First things first, jumping into Futurecast, rain's going to be heavy, but find the temperatures, at least initially, are going to be fairly mild. Uh, late tonight into the overnight hours towards your Saturday morning, we'll have temps in the 40s, maybe even some 50 degree numbers, a possibility. And then as we get towards the early morning hours or late morning hours, depending on how you look at it, at around 5 a.m., numbers could actually climb into the mid-50s because this system is so dynamic here based on what it's doing. It's going to produce some heavy rainfall, maybe even some thunderstorms, not going to rule that out. The problem lies with the cold front, however. That cold front's going to sweep through uh, towards the late morning hours going into the afternoon now. And that's going to produce not only heavy rainfall and some gusty winds, but it's also going to bring about a changeover as temperatures begin to drop. As a scenario here, at least with this particular forecast model, check out the numbers that it's projecting in Detroit, Monroe, and Adrian. I mean, mid-50s, that's a mild feel. But head north here towards, say, Livingston County, Oakland County, Lapeer, you're going to see numbers already in the 30s. So at some point, we're going to have a 20 degree drop or a 20 degree swing somewhere in Metro Detroit, depending on the placement of that boundary and timing, of course, will determine who's more than likely to see some of the icing uh, as this colder air begins to move in. Right now, it does appear that the greatest potential for us to see some ice accumulation will be during your Saturday afternoon. Uh, that's going to take us all the way into Saturday evening before the system finally pulls away and leaves us alone, for lack of a better term, uh, Saturday night going into Sunday morning. So this is a prolonged event here, and that's why there's so many alerts and so many warnings and issues that are in effect. So once we get towards Sunday morning, the dust will settle as a figure of speech, but temperatures will be much colder. So most of this is going to take place uh, going into your uh, day on uh, what day is this? Uh, they're going into your day on Saturday into Sunday. Sorry about that. So just looking at your forecast here, uh, we are going to see a good opportunity to pick up some uh, ice. That's going to be for Livingston, Oakland, as well as Lapeer and Sanilac County. Winter weather advisory for Macomb as well as St. Clair counties. And that's because you could pick up that wintry mix that could lead to some ice. So there's a look at the counties and the impacts that we say, you know, this is on the table here. Ice will be the biggest concern, and as you know, it simply does not take a lot of ice to cause issues, of course, with power outages, uh, impassable roads, sidewalks, driveways. Think about that. You go outside to check out conditions outside your front door and driveway. Be careful. Uh, because if there is ice on your driveway, you don't want, of course, to slide down or also fall on the stairs on your front porch. So ice can be dangerous, as we all know. As far as the winds, those are a problem as well. They'll climb up near 50 degrees with the wind gust or 50 miles per hour with the wind gust. So I don't want the winds to get lost in translation because we have so much weather coming at you. Uh, for tonight, 48 degrees, rain, and even a storm chance would be possible. We're going to drop fairly quickly. Even if we start the day fairly mild, we'll drop to around 35 degrees towards the afternoon. And the wild weekend gives way to temperatures that will moderate a little bit going into next week with temps in the 40s and lows eventually dropping back to the 30s and the 20s. And thanks for joining us here at WXYZ.com for your forecast information and staying with us for the storm. Our next planned update will be by Hallie for your Saturday morning.